Hey, welcome to our last day of notes on the solar system, day 404. Remember, you can pause this video, go back uh, anytime you like. All right, so our unit is the solar system. Today's topic is the solar system formation. So how did our solar system form? Day 404, objectives. To understand how the solar system formed from a nebular cloud of gas, ice, and dust. Okay, to understand the processes that led up to our modern day solar system. All right, for your quick write, five points at the top of your notes. Why do you think the inner rocky planets formed closer to the sun and the gas giants formed farther out? Remember, the inner planets are made of iron and silica. The outer gas giants are made mostly of hydrogen and helium. If you spin a piece of dough, what do you think happens to it? And how do you think dust grains become planets? Okay. Think back to how our moon formed, if you if it helps. All right, go ahead and pause this. Why you write, please? Okay, so the formation of the solar system, the nebular model. Well, what is a nebula? First, we have to learn what exactly a nebula is. Well, when scientists look out into deep space, they see a lot of these nebulas. These nebulas are huge, massive molecular clouds made up of gas, ice, and dust particles, mostly gas, okay? These nebular clouds are the birthplace of stars and planets. Scientists believe that the sun and solar system formed out of one of these nebulas about 4.6 billion years ago. So, what is the solar nebular theory? For your notes, okay? Go ahead and write the question and the answer and use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence. Okay, go ahead and pause this when you're done. All right. So, making the solar system, it's like I'm making the pizza, right? You've ever been to a pizza parlor, you've seen the guy spinning the dough. Well, when you spin that dough, what exactly happens to it? It becomes disc-shaped right well it, that's kind of like what happens to our nebula okay if we spin parts of these nebula they will become disc shape like our solar system which is a disc shape okay so here we go but first we have to collapse this nebula we have to shrink it okay solar system formation step one gravitational collapse so gravity is the mutual attraction between all matter okay so it all starts with the nebula right a nebula if you remember is a huge cloud of gas ice and dust shock waves from a nearby exploding star cause this nebula to slowly shrink or collapse and gravity takes over from there so it starts with a trigger like an exploding nearby star and gravity takes over and it starts to cause this cloud to shrink well an interesting thing happens after that. If this cloud shrinks, think of an ice skater. When an ice skater shrinks, she brings her hands to her chest, her legs to her chest. She starts to spin really, really fast. This is called angular momentum. Okay. And that, as that ice skater spins really, really fast, okay, it's she's illustrating something called angular momentum. This is a physics. If you ever take physics class, you'll learn more about angular momentum. Well. It's one way our solar system formed, step two. So as it this as this nebula shrinks, it starts to spin at the same time. So these arrows show it's shrinking here. And then this arrow shows it spinning. Okay. Well, at the center of this disk is a bulge that will eventually form our sun. Okay. And remember, everything is spinning, okay, in the same direction. Just like a pizza spins, when you spin dough, it spins in the same direction. This explains why the planets orbit in the same direction. It also explains why the inner planets orbit the sun faster, and the outer planets, out here, the gassy planets, orbit the sun slower. Okay, so that's angular momentum. We have this spinning cloud of gas, ice, and dust. Okay, but how do we get from gas to solid particles? Well, that comes through condensation. Solar system formation step three. Condensation is when gas particles become solid dust particles. Okay? So remember, we are mostly gas. How do we get this? How do we go from gas to solids? Well, that's condensation. Condensation causes gas particles to become solid dust particles. 
Well, these particles, these dust particles, then start to stick together like the dust bunnies on the top of your TV because these dust particles are electrostatically charged and they attract each other. And so we now have this massive cloud spinning, or excuse me, cloud, yeah, of dust. Okay, so we have the spinning cloud of dust, okay, no longer gas through condensation. Okay, well, something interesting is happening here. Notice the intersection here. And out here, there's something happening. Let's check it out. So, the rocky planets versus the gassy planets. If you remember from earlier in our notes, okay, the inner planets formed closer to the sun, the rocky planets, because the inner solar nebula disk, because only rocky material, iron and silica, could withstand the heat. And this in rock, iron and silica could condense and solidify closer to the sun, forming the inner rocky planets. Okay, so solid matter like iron and silica condensed here, making the inner planets. Okay, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Out here in this disk, okay, where it's colder, farther from the sun, the cold outer disk is where the gassy planets formed in this outer solar nebula disk where it was cooler and gases like hydrogen and helium could condense, okay, could solidify. Remember, the outer planets are made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Mars are mostly made of the gases hydrogen and helium, okay, and they formed out here where it was colder, okay. So for your notes, okay, why did the rocky planets form closer to the sun and the outer planets form farther from the sun, okay. Remember to use the answer bank to fill in the blanks here. Go ahead and pause this while you write. Accretion. All right. So solar system formation step four. Remember how the moon formed? The moon formed through accretion. Accretion occurs when solid, solid particles stick together, becoming larger in size. Okay. It's kind of like making a snowman. You keep, okay, if you keep, if you keep adding snow to the snowman, it's going to eventually get bigger, right? Well, that's exactly what happens with planets. If you keep adding material to the planets, they're going to get larger in size. But it doesn't start with planets, right? So the inner planets form when rocky material, small rocks, begin to clump together. Okay, and these small rocks collide to make boulders. These boulders collide to make really big boulders. And then these really big boulders collide through gravity to make small planets planetesimals okay gravity is attract is the mutual attraction between all matter in our universe so accretion occurs when everything sticks together through gravity because they're attracted to one another well the outer planets formed when icy material clumped together okay kind of like making a snowman all right so that is accretion the last stage, so we've got all these planetesimals, these small planets, probably 25, 30 planets, planetesimals orbiting the sun now. Well, these newly formed planetesimals now have enough gravity to pull in the remaining debris in the solar system. As a result, planets are being bombarded by asteroids and meteoroids and all this rocky material that's floating out here. And this is the stage when our moon formed, okay? So during the bombardment phase, the solar system was filled with rocky debris and icy chunks floating throughout the solar system. Earth's gravity okay, continued to pull in asteroids and meteoroids for millions of years, causing the Earth to grow and swell in size. Okay? So the Earth, Moon, and all the other planets were under the attack by the relentless onslaught of asteroids and meteoroids. Okay? So... Let's look at this animation here to review. Okay, so condensation, okay, accretion, and bombardment, okay, and our solar system forms. Let's go back. So we have this nebula, right? It shrinks, angular momentum, it spins into a disk of cloud of gas condensation dust particles form okay accretion material starts to stick together and then bombardment okay these small planets are being bombarded by the remaining rocky material and that is how our solar system formed okay
So for your notes, I want you to try drawing this the best you can for your notes and write down these five steps. It's a lot, but that's our last one for today. Okay, use the answer bank to fill in the blanks, please. And like I said, draw this the best you can under the section where it says answers, diagrams, drawings, and tables. Okay, so your question, as usual, goes in the question section. Everything below the question, okay, you write here. Okay, go ahead and pause this because I know you're going to take a little bit to write. And you're all done with today's notes except for the summary coming up here. So go ahead and pause this, please. Okay, I gave you a short summary because that was a, loss, a lot to write, but you can always write your own as you know, okay? Your summary boxes should be filled up. All right, so go ahead and summarize and pause this while you write. That concludes our unit on the solar system. Congratulations, you're all done. Now you can use these notes for the test, okay? Way to work hard. Have a great night and we'll see you next time.